Um, out here with my buddy Tomas behind Port Sulphur. Supposed to blow hard today, but we just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we could do. Up in here. Just lost my first trout right by the boat. Pretty morning. It's getting chillier. I was throwing the cast net. I'm all wet. Probably be the last time of the year I can do that. This is where a rain suit. It was November 14th. A couple days after a cool front. Wind's still blowing pretty hard. Let's see if the trout have came in here yet for the year. See how many we can pick up. Red. I don't know. Might be a catfish too, the way he's hugging the bottom. Oh, big old mule trout, dude. Oh, man. Oh, you saw that one? I was just about ready to start trolling. Boy, that's a pretty fish to start the day. And he swallowed it down, too. I haven't seen what happens when I stick my finger down in here before. some new rod holders we're gonna try different ones I got the Hobie H rail rod holder I got a ram mount a ball with a rail blazer rod holder and I got another one I'll look up the name in a minute so let's try some different rod holders and troll them and see what we can do today Took a while. It's a nice trout though. Very nice trout. He's slippery as heck. He's hooked good too. The problem is, is it's drifting me right in my spot. Very pretty fish. Speckled trout ever. Wobble right. Look at the size of that speck. <laughs> well, the wind has just been relentless today. We knew it was going to blow, but we had to get out here hard to find a shoreline that you can hug and, and fish and real slow but we'll keep plugging at it and see what we can do Tomas is picking up a lot of trout trolling I haven't had any luck today I'll resort to that when we get back to our pond throwing a bronze wobble right caught one tiny tiny trout so far that's it holder uh, appraiser here see what we like we got a ram ramrod 2007 this is the one I've been using I like the fact it fact that it's got a latch but the rod can drop down in there like that on you causes problems but it's actually a good trolling rod only downside is his lines can tangle on these things then we got the Hobie H rail rod holder I like it for holding rods upright in the up position. I'm a little scared of it trolling. 
because it seems like a rod would fall out when you got it on an angle and then over here I got the rail blazer uh, rod holder here I like this one a lot too so we'll see uh, give them all a try today and see what we what we like best the ramrod has the most adjustability that's one nice thing about it. it's on a ram ball mount and it goes all over this is your typical rail blazer mount and then a notch notches for the uh for the rod holder that's how you lock your reel in so give them all a try and see what we like best It look like tarpon rolling, huh? Let's go get them. See, that's when I need my mullet. Look at them. That might be sharks. Up on the top of the water, Tomas went over there and he tied into them. What is it? Oh, no kidding, huh? He hit your lure or what? No. Foul hooked him? <laughs> Hang on, I want to get some video of this. Oh yeah. That's gotta be about 40 inches. That's a redfish, Paul Paul. That's a redfish, yeah. No sleigh ride with him? No. Oh shoot, I got your rod. Don't, let me let me hold on. See that's what I don't like about that. What's that? Oh I got your rod. No, we're alright. We're alright, we're gonna get we're gonna get straight here. They still got more in the area, huh? <laughs> Let me see if I can pull one out. Pick them up one more time when you got a sec. my scale with me oh yeah that's one for the Hobie website that's the one for the Hobie website <laughs> adios uh, too because you can lock the rod in rail the rail blades are set up the same way with a lock I hope he doesn't have anything I'd have to tether it so we'll see what we get this is mighty slim today I got two trout come on did pretty good we'll see what he comes up with all different rod holders on the Hobie H rail to see what I like best so this one right here ramrod 2007 as you can see it holds a bait casting reel really well 
and it also holds a spinning reel really well. It has a lock that you can put over the top to hold your reel in place. And out of the three, this one is the most adjustable, being it has a ram ball mount. As you can see, you can adjust this any direction up, down, side to side that you want. I think out of the three, I actually like this one the best. I didn't think I would at first because I figured lines would hang on these little things, but after using it a lot trolling and in all, all I, I really like this one. Reel blazer, which has a lock like this to keep the reels in. And as you can see, the rail blazer works real good with a bait caster and also with a spinning reel locked down to the side and you can lock them both in. The only downside to the rail blazer is it takes a lot more to adjust it. It's got notch teeth, you got to loosen the screw up enough to be able to get it to go and then it's got fixed positions. It also has a little thing in the back to flip down for little short bait casting reels or a gimbaled reel has a notch on the bottom to hold a gimbaled rod straight that you could lock in. This one's, this one's really good also. It's got the uh, Hobie A-Trail adapter for the rail blazer mount. So you can see the, the reel will just, the rod holder just comes out. So to adjust it front to back, you gotta pull it out and reset it up and down. Up and down, you gotta adjust the Hobie H-Rail clamp. No big deal to take on and off. Trail rod holder itself. I like this one a lot in an upright position like this uh, for rod storage. I like to keep it behind me. It's also got a pin in the bottom for gimbaled rods. And you can adjust this head to either side to where your reel was, won't spin. So a spinning reel fits in it good. You can see a, a, a bait caster also locks in pretty good too. So Hobie, Hobie recommends keeping it like this for storage, but they say when you troll with it, you should mount it in this fashion. Depending on what angle you troll. Unlike the Rail Blazer and the uh, Ramrod 2000, this one doesn't have any, anything locking your reel in, which is kind of scary. You'd have to tether it. It's also adjustable front to back. You could do it however you want it to mount it. Um, I guess using it more, I get used to it more. I might like it. See, a spinning reel fits in it real good. But it's kind of scary on a, on, a, on a strike that you'd lose your rod without it tethered whereas the other ones have locks. But like I did say, I do really like it for a rod storage. Straight up and down. Or like when you go to retie, recast, whatever, it's really good for that. So between the three, I think I actually like the Ramrod 2007 best. Has the most adjustability. It's smaller, it's easier to maneuver around. It locks in and it fits both rods good, spinning and, and bait casting. So that's just my opinions, give them a try. I'll keep trying them more. I've used this one the most. That's probably also why I like it the best. The Hobie one's new to me. I'll keep using it and see how, see how uh, I like it in the future. And then the Rail Blazer is also uh, another one that I'll keep using and and uh, keep updating you on it. So all in all, three different styles. This one's great for rod storage, trolling, you'd have to tether it. These two are great for trolling. Each one has a different style locking mechanism, keeps your reel in place. I've had several big fish hit with rods uh, in these, big trout, and uh, no problem with them keeping them in place. So till next time, get out there and go fishing.